Hey guys, Gathering the Magic back again. Um, wanted to do a video. There's been a lot of talk lately uh, in the community about the reward card system and particularly uh, soulbound cards and um, also soulbound reward cards. So one of the ideas that I had, actually I came up with this when I was driving home from work last night, is what if going forward um, the reward cards that you would use to get in chest, instead you will get something called a splinter coin. So if you think of a loot chest, at least for me, you open a chest, what's inside usually coins. So these coins, which I'm going to call splinter coins, you can use um, to get the soulbound reward card you want. So each card will have a cost. So like a common card would cost, let's say, one splinter coin, a rare would cost more than that. And at least the system that I'm thinking of is you would get to pick the soulbound reward card you want. Like right now, if you go to your cards in your inventory, it will show a list of every card that you own. But also you can take a look at cards that you don't own, like all playable cards. So every year, if they come out with a new set of reward cards, like if you just click here for all cards, it'll show some cards that are grayed out. So what I was thinking they could do is going forward when they come out with the next set of reward cards, in the beginning, these will all be grayed out. You'll be able to see a picture of them. You'll be able to see all their stats, but to be able to purchase them, you'll have to purchase them with splinter coins and then they will level up the normal way. So each splinter coin would basically be like one BCX. So say for example, this giant rock, if this was a reward card, it would cost you one splinter coin and you would now have a level one soul bound version of this card um, if you wanted a level two card you know it would take you know another coin and then on so forth so the cool thing about this is you would get to pick the card that you want so it wouldn't be like you open a chest and you get let's say a pelicor bandit but you don't like the water splinter you would rather get you know a life card so with this you could basically use the coins and pick the cards that you want off the list of all the available reward cards. Um, for a question I put here, let's say you don't want the basic foil versions. Uh, let's say you're like me and for guild brawls, you only do uh, gold foil brawls. Well, instead of getting um, like basic common cards in your reward chests and then hoping that one day you could get a gold card, with this, you could simply, every day when you open your chest, save up your coins and then wait until you have enough coins to get the gold foil uh, version. So an example I had here for the reward cards, um, let's say that going forward with their next set, uh, they would come up with like three common reward cards from each splinter and a neutral. So you would have 16 different ones, um, two uh, rare cards for each splinter, and then one dragon, one neutral. So you'd have another 12. Um, one of each epic card would give you seven, and then one of each legendary would give you another seven. So altogether, let's say they come up with 42 reward cards. So in your back office, you would see a list of reward cards. They would have maybe a tab for Soulbound. You could break it down by rarity, and you could see um, the different splinters, which ones are available, and then you would simply click on them, see their cost, and then see how much many uh, splinter coins it takes to purchase that card. Um, they would level up like normal. You know, you need more coins to level to level two, three, four, and so forth. Um, the cool thing about this is since they are soul bound and it's basically up to you to pick which rarity you want to level, there really is no print rate. Um, these cards will always be available from the time they are re released going forward. So let's say, for example, in 2023, they release 42 reward cards that are soul bound. You can work on those from now for years and years to come. And then in 2024, if they release another 42 reward cards and someone just enters the game, they will have a list of the 42 cards from 2023 and then the current list of 42 reward cards from 2024. And then they can pick which ones they want to level. So let's say, for example, you join in 2024 and it's like, oh, I really like the reward cards from last year. I'm going to work on those first and then I'm going to work on the ones from this year. Or you could simply say, hey, I want to work on Water Splinter. So I'm going to do all the Water Splinter cards, reward cards from last year and then this year. You basically can pick and choose 
um, how you want to build your deck. Um, like I said, these won't be tradable, these won't be sellable, but these are going to be cards that you're not going to want to get rid of because they're going to help your decks, they're going to help you win. Okay, and then I put um, examples for the cost for each card. Um, these can change. I was just trying to come up with some basic guidelines. So like a common card is one BCX. So I was thinking one coin per BCX. So it would take you 400 coins to max out a regular foil common. Maybe five coins. If you save up five coins, you could pick a rare. 20 coins, you could pick an epic. And then 100 coins, you could pick a legendary. Because maybe you don't care about the common cards. Maybe you're like, well, I just want the, the epics and the legendaries. Every day you would open your chest, save your coins, and then when you get you know enough coins, you could just forget these and right away just go for the epic. Um, the gold foil versions, of course, will be more expensive um, because, as I say later on, I think even the regular uh, reward cards, the regular foils, they should give you an RP bonus. So I was thinking um, regular re uh, reward cards, the regular foils, uh, maybe a 5% bonus. This is going to be another reason why people are going to want to um, play the game, get your coins, level these cards, is because you're going to get uh, a bonus for getting more chests. And then I was thinking since the gold foil versions are special and they take a lot more coins to level, let's make it so that these give you a 15% RP bonus. Now remember, it's not like this can really be exploited because there's not going to be very many of these cards that you're going to be able to play in your deck at one time. And let's say you play a splinter, you have a common, a rare, and an epic that you can play. That's an extra 45% bonus. But look at how many coins it takes to be able to play those and how much time is going to be involved. So I think if people are going to spend the time and get the gold foil versions, they should get rewarded with a with a good size RP bonus. <clears throat> and maybe the team wants to go more than this. Maybe the team would like to do 10% uh, bonus for uh, regular foils, just kind of like a, a normal gold card would uh, give you, and maybe bump this up to a 20 or 25% RP bonus uh, for the gold foil reward cards. It, it's basically up to the team, but I think you should get some sort of a bonus to just kind of incentivize you to use these cards and to level them. Now, I know you'll look at this and say, oh, man, 4,000 coins, that's going to take me forever, you know, if, if I'm only getting one coin per chest. Well, here's the thing. You may get more than one coin per chest. Let's say that you were going to open a chest and you normally would just get a common card, like most of them are. You would only get one coin. But let's say you were going to open a chest and, hey, I pulled a, an epic card. You know how cool that is. Well, instead of getting an epic reward card, you instead would get 20 coins. And then, you know, every once in a great while you get a gold common. Okay, you just pulled 40 coins from that chest. So, uh, so don't think it's going to take you 4,000 chests to get a gold foil legendary. I mean, if you get lucky and pull a legendary, you know, what would have been a legendary card, now you've got 100 coins. And one more thing that I want to go through with this is um, the concept of burning cards. Like, you can burn cards now and you can get a certain amount of DEC. I don't want to do that for the new reward card simply because we don't want more DEC. We want to get rid of DEC. So what I'm proposing is if you decide you don't want the card, you can burn it, but you will get an equal amount of coins. So whatever amount of coins you use to get that card, you will get the same amount back that you can spend on something different. So the example I give is let's say you had a, le a level 5 common regular foil card that usually is 60 BCX and it costs you 60 coins and you're like man I really don't want that because they just came out with the new set for this year and I really like this this epic card that costs 20 coins I'd really like to get some of those you could burn your level 5 common card get 60 coins and now you've got more than enough coins that you can pick up some of that epic so you can kind of convert your cards from one to another or let's say um, you start going and playing gold foil versions um, cards for your guild brawls and you've got a lot of the regular foil ones well you can burn these get your coins back and then start building the gold foil versions of your cards um, another idea i had too with this is let's say you're playing in 2024 you're a new player 
you've got all the reward cards from 2023, all the new ones from 2024. You feel like you're way behind. And it's like, man, I'm never going to be able to get enough chests to get all the cards that I want. You can purchase Splinter Coins in the back office with vouchers, SPS, or DEC. I think this would be another great burn for DEC, SPS, and also a good voucher sync. Because we really need a voucher sync. And instead of tying it to a specific amount of vouchers, let's say one voucher, one coin. Okay, it makes sense that vouchers are seven cents, but if vouchers go back to like 50 cents or a dollar, it really does make sense to spend a dollar voucher to get one coin for a common card. So I would say that each, let me rephrase this. In the beginning, I called them fragments, but they are now splinter coins. So let's just say that one splinter coin will cost you five cents worth of vouchers, SPS, or DEC. So five cents would basically be a one BCX common. So that way, like I said, if you've got a ton of vouchers or, or DEC and it's like, hey, I want to level some of these reward cards fast, you can spend your vouchers, you can spend SPS and DEC and start leveling these up. And like I said, these won't be tradable. These are bound to your account, but if there's a really cool legendary that you want for like, let's say the Dragon Splinter, and you want a lot of coins right now because you want to level that thing up. Hey, if you got the vouchers, DEC, and SPS, go ahead. You can level it up as, as much as you're willing to spend. So there's some of my ideas for um, the soulbound cards and reward cards. I think it would be a really cool system going forward. Like I said, another thing you don't, don't have to worry about is the whole print rate. Um, Aftersound did a great video last night where he talked about the current print rate for some of the reward cards. Like the commons are at 93%, but then some of the legendaries are only at 16%. And he's like, well, how are they going to balance this out? Are they going to start releasing a lot more legendaries than normal cards? With this, you don't have to worry about a print rate because there isn't any. It's basically each card is up to each individual player to decide how they want to level it. So print rate goes right out the window. Um, for the people, like I said, that don't want the cards, that like, oh man, I wish I had this card instead. Hey, go ahead and burn it. Convert it to something you want, and if you want to level them faster, go ahead and spend vouchers, SPS, and DEC. So I think this solves a lot of issues. Um, let me guy, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like this system? Um, what tweaks or changes would you make to it? Um, I'm interested in all your feedback. Um, also, uh, we just hit 400 subscribers yesterday, so I want to say thank you to everyone. So what I am going to do is everyone that leaves a comment in this video today, um, today is Monday the 19th, everyone that leaves a comment on this video can be about um, my idea for Soulbound cards, can be about land, anything. Just please leave a comment and your in-game name and I will send you a little Christmas present and a um, just kind of a thank you for supporting the channel and kind of a celebration of hitting 400 subscribers. So once again, just leave a comment, leave your in-game name, and I will send you a little something. Um, thanks again. Thanks to all the 400 subscribers. And I will have some more content later. I will probably do another video in the next couple of days getting more into depth about land. Um, I haven't claimed anything yet, but probably will be soon. So stay tuned for that. And until then, hope you guys are having a great day. And good luck with your daily and season rewards. And until then... Take care and happy grinding. We'll see you soon.